always seem to get like incredibly sick on dates that are like three nights, two shows a night. Like, I mean, it's not really all that interesting of a story, but it's like twice in my career, I've gotten like 103 degree temperature throwing up, had to have a doctor on standby and literally had a bucket backstage because I'm throwing up, you know, but still you got to like thug through the show. You got to thug through it. And uh, that's happened once in um, Oakland and that's happened uh, once in Tokyo. When it happened in Tokyo, I mean, for some reason, if it happens in the States, it's almost like, all right, at least I'm not that far from home. But when you all the way over in Tokyo and you know your temperature is like 103 degrees, it's not going down, you're throwing up all over the place and you gotta do four more shows, two per night, and somehow you gotta make it work, that kind of sucks. So I was in Tokyo, like backstage, literally barely able to get up and they had to call a doctor who spoke no English and you know come check me out i had a crazy temperature i was vomiting all over the place and it's like what you gonna do you gonna cancel the next two shows no you're gonna go out there and you're just gonna like prop yourself up and you know the show must go on so the so the the doctor one of the people that worked at the club they were translating for the doctor and he was like okay this is what i want you to do i want you to drink all of this and i'm like okay well what is this and he was like it's a lot of antibiotics and I'm like okay well how much is a lot and he said I don't remember but he said basically for the next day and a half after you drink this you need to be right by a toilet because you're gonna be just like shitting all over the place right <laughs> just like <laughs> and so but he was like you really really need to take this because this is probably gonna knock this thing out but just be real close to a toilet so I did the I did the shot, man, and I thugged through the next four shows, damn near died. But the next day, he wasn't lying, man. It was like I couldn't, I couldn't like walk away from the bathroom. It was just like nonstop eruption from below. And it was, that's not a crazy story. That's just occupational hazard right there. <laughs> the next night, the actual flu type symptoms were better, but I was still like, you know, I had to like, Yo, do an extra long solo, bruh. And like literally run backstage and just... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can be like so sick that you can barely talk. If you've been doing this a while, there's, there's places in your throat where you talk and there's other places where you sing. And you lean more, obviously, on the places uh, where you sing and you can actually get some sound out. Somebody like me, I'm used to singing like way, way up here and I can go way down here. I got a range like this. But when you're sick, your range is right in here. You got maybe five notes you can work with. <laughs> so I just got to work them five notes when you're sick, man. You just got to be able to, okay, the melody is not going to be that tonight. The melody is going to be this, but I'm going to make this sexy as I can with my sick ass. So that's all about, yeah, man, it's all about the show must go on. He was supposed to produce my, like half of my Love Love uh, for Sale album, but he passed away. So I got a chance to watch him just create, you know, and he just made it look so simple and easy. My theme was 80s and 90s. Like, everybody know that's me. That's why even going back to the breaks, to have the opportunity to be there and to be this age and to be in the 90s is kind of dope. You know, I wanted to be there with Faith Evans and all of them. You know what I'm saying? Lil' Kim. LL with the boys, the men, hey, lover, you know what I'm saying? Like, all that. We had a rep with us and said, listen, this is what you do. This has happened several times. What we need you to say is, they smoke weed. That's all I see is weed movies from Jamaica. This is where I thought it was gonna go down. That's, you know, that's your spill. You thought it was legal over here. You know, being in entertainment or music, you just have to be ready for the roller coaster. It's inconsistent and you never know what will catch on. And sometimes it's the most personal songs that don't really fit any formula that people gravitate towards. 